like any normal teenager you want to fit in you want to be i want to be accepted i want to feel loved and so i had friends that um we did a lot of bad things together and so they turned against me and i never really knew why like they never told me okay so this is this is what you did it was just like they started taking things out of my locker like i couldn't find my books and they would take my schoolwork off my desk and i would get in trouble because i can't hand in my schoolwork um someone also told me that they put up post like that like, who put up posters about me and stuff like that so it was it it got so bad that i was starting to become scared of going to school and because i was friends with these girls i saw what they did to other people like how they treated other people how they like like i saw what they were capable of and that made me scared i cried all the time i had panic attacks i was in and out of hospital and no one could really understand what was going on until they asked me they tried to help me the best they can and like the principal made it seem like it was my fault i grew up in church i didn't okay i had a relationship with god but it wasn't strong and i felt like it was just playing pretend like it was just go to church and get it over with get it done it wasn't like something that I really wanted to do out of my own. It, it's just okay. You must do this. It's a thing. You you Christian, so this is what they do. And then when I was going through all of this, there was no one I could really speak to but God. And I started to speak to Him, and I cried before Him, and I started to to listen to the the the. of the preaching like what the pastor said and I would go to youth and I would start to take in like what was being given to me and I started applying that my youth leader told me Matthew 13 verse 1 to 20 something I'll never forget that's the parable of the sower so wherever you sow if it's good soil or if you throw it among rocks it will reap according to where you sow so if you gonna invest your time and your energy in bad friends it's not for you that's only supposed to eat. it's like a rain jacket that you wear in the summer there's no purpose if you're going to sow into bad friends you going you your plants is going to die eventually and there's like No you crying about it because like it's where you decided to sow. So if you sow into good friends and into positive things and if you sow into God you will reap from that. So the Bible verse that helped me through all of this was um John 3 verse 16 for God to love the world that he gave his one and only son. So for me that spoke to me really like it's something that you 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 see you say all the time in Sunday school not really taking in the meaning of it not really understanding what what you saying it's just something that you always had to know but once when i sat down and really thought about it it's like seeing how much your parents love you and the parents out there how how they would like these parents that protect the kids from the police because they love them so much they don't want them to go to jail they don't want to see them hurt so for god to send his son for you to see him suffer that's like there's no other love like that so why are you looking into the world for love and to be accepted when someone would give something so precious to them up like without the second doubt without saying but why my son but why me so you accepted you you loved 
and God got you. And whenever you're feeling down, like friends is not always going to be there. People in the world is going to die. They're going to fade away. But God is forever.